<laughs> Let me give you some context. So, I dropped it and the, the rail broke in half. And that's what was holding the whole desk together. Like, that was the main thing. When you look back on it, I was wondering, like, how they actually used this desk and what they made from it. Because I know it's a doctor's bed, but, like, it wasn't the best build in the world. It might have been mass-produced or something. It's really weird to think that this was, like, 50 years old. Yeah, let's see how it holds up in the near future. So this is the part where I completely stuffed up because I was trying to use the chisel to go through a chipboard, but of course that doesn't work, of course, with this type of man-made board. So um, I just pulled it off and smacked it for a little bit. Yeah, that was my, that was my next plan. I should have just used a coping saw because that would have been so much nicer. Oh, that's where my earpods went. So I'm going to Bunnings and I'm going to get uh, some supplies. I want to get the the wood for my top and, and everything and see if Bunnings has any because um, yeah that would be great. If, if there's like plywood, 20 mm plywood, I think that would be perfect. I'll do that now. But I'm going to go vroom vroom. Let's go. $280 later. And I got all this, a vise, wood top, uh, some materials for my other projects that I'm doing. I might put that up, uh, make a video out of it. It was, it was a quite lengthy process of expenses that I don't have. In other words, it was being expensive. <laughs> I thought I would wake you up a little bit with that fairy horn sound. In one of my purchases, I got this. That's a woodwork vise. I have no idea how to fit this onto the actual desk, but I got it. <laughs> I can't believe it. So I'm going to try and fit it on before I put the top on, because then it'll work really well after that. My troubles I'm having right now are there is too much stuff happening on the front um, and it might interfere with like doing stuff. I already know that I have to take the knob off the top of that drawer and put another one on, which I already have, which is good. Um, I could actually just cut that little log piece and then make it underside a flush so it's smaller so I can like lift it up and out. And do that with down there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that instead.
Now it took me three hours. But I found bolts. They're pretty thick boys, but I'm gonna use them to to bolt the Yeah, the one thing I forgot to get at Bunnings was was bolts to actually bolt the woodworking vise to the table. Who's a doof? I think it's me. <laughs> So this is my first test piece of um, fitting this top on and I don't know how it's going to go but I hope it goes well because I don't really drill those holes in very well. <laughs> I made those little dowels and yeah I'm, I'm going to whittle them down to see if they fit or not and then I'm just going to glue the whole top on and uh, in the process of doing this now and oh my god well it's coming to an end. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. That's a little bit bowed, but they are all in. Oh my god, that was so good. Yeah, I can do something that way. But we'll just I'll just flip it the other way. So this is the part where you need to hear my beautiful voice. Oh my god. It's all glued. It's all fun. It's all done. I'm going to put maybe a drawer in on that whole side. Maybe that's in a future video, but I think I'm done for now. This has been a long process. I just wanted to thank you guys for actually watching this because... It was a lot of just drilling and just banging around and it wasn't really fine work, which I love to do, but uh, this this was a whole different thing of uh, just putting wood bits together and I learnt a lot from it, like actually uh, making and uh, supporting a desk, a woodwork desk. Anyway, I uh, hope you have an excellent day, whatever you're doing, on the toilet, reading a book, while watching a video. I'll see you guys later.